Hello everyone, welcome to Guru Squad. My name is Ahmed Amin. I'm going to be demonstrating and showing a comparison between GS Rich Copy 360 Enterprise versus Robocopy. The reason why, why we've selected Robocopy for benchmarking is we do get a lot of inquiries from our, uh, customers saying, how do you guys hold up against Robocopy? How do you guys hold up? And what's the performance? Well, first of all, um, we do our GSH Copy 360 Enterprise. It's really an enterprise grade. It does offer um, a lot of features that Robocopy does not offer, such as uh, copying across the internet, uh, encryption, compression, copying open files, um, setting date and timestamp properly, uh, sending an email when it's completed, and the list goes on. Of course, other than running as a service, copying long path names with no problems uh, right out of the box and it's very simple and easy to use. But in addition we've selected uh, a small sample of files, uh, mainly small files because that's what a lot of uh, customers ask. Uh, how do we copy, how do we handle Robocopy uh, against Robocopy using small files? So what we've done was we've created a sample files here about 3,422 files. Um, they're all 31 kilobytes, almost 32 kilobytes each. And we're going to copy them using GSRH Copy 360 from one server to another. So we're going to go in here. We're going to right click and we're going to start the job. But I'll show you the job just to get you familiar with it. Uh, we basically we have uh, files, 32 kilobyte files. Uh, we're copying it from the source, we're going to a TCP location, which is a destination server. And we configure the destination server, it happens to be a server called DC4. And uh, we're not going to even use compression, so that we don't, we're not, we have those uh, tests pretty much similar. Um, and we're going to be using eight, thre eight threads, which is what Robocopy uses by default for multi-threading. So we're going to right click on it and we're going to trigger the job. So we're going to click start. And we're going to go ahead and look at the progress. So we're, look, we're copying 3,422 files. So far it's been about 8 or 9 seconds and we've copied 2,000 files. So you can see basically this is a dashboard that's giving you all the copying results where we just completed the job and it copied 3,422 files in 24 seconds. Uh, it was about you know, 100 megs, but really the issue is it's, it's a large number of files considered for the test. Now we're going to go ahead and um, take a look at uh, Robocopy doing the same exact job copying the same exact folder to a destination on the destination to a different destination on the destination folder server which is DC4 so we're going to copy it we're going to go ahead and start the job and the reason why I've selected 3,400 files only is so that the test is, is good enough to give you uh, a ratio of how well a GSRH Copy 360 Enterprise holds up. Should take about possibly a minute or so to complete. So I'm going to let the job run. Now, some of the other good options while this is running uh, to tell you about JSRH Copy 360 Enterprise is the ability that it, it can copy through a TCP port. So if you've got um, different firewalls between VLANs or uh, copying between the DMZ and internal network or whatever the case may be, or perhaps you're copying from the cloud, uh, trying to back up data from the cloud back into your data center, you could basically copy it all through a dashboard, through a TCP port. 
All right, so just to go. So mobile copy has completed the job. It copied 3,422 files, about 100 megabyte, and it took a total of one minute and 14 seconds versus GS Rich copy 360 Enterprise, it copied the same number of files, 3,422, in only 24 seconds. So we're looking at 24 seconds in GS Rich copy 360 Enterprise against one minute and 14 seconds. Pretty much GS Rich copy 360 did it in less than half the time. I hope this uh, test was uh, very informative for you and uh, thank you very much for viewing and if you have any questions or uh, concerns, uh, feel free to reach out to um, support at gurusquad.com. Again, support at gurusquad.com. Thank you very much again.